Hi, so what does a browser actually do? So you know that internet is a huge, vast network of computers, and there are a lot of data going in between. But when you use Google Chrome or Firefox or any other one, that browser is responsible for many things, but the main purpose is to display web pages to you in a beautiful form. So what your computer or cell phone, whatever it does, is that when you visit a website like Facebook or Google.com or YouTube, it sends a request, your browser sends a request to that main computer. And let's say this is the main computer of YouTube and it stores some data you need. And this is a computer seven in a huge vast network of computers in a data center. And this has the data you need. So your browser learns that from another computer learns that it has to make a request there. So it makes a request here. This says, oh, okay, send it to here. And this sends it back to this one and this back to your Chrome, for example, not the actual architecture, of course. But so during these transactions, it is very encrypted. Here's a key for that. And you would not understand the data here. So what happens is your browser handles that it receives the keys alongside the data and then it displays it oops it's out of the screen then let me clear it then it displays it to you in a nice format this is a video this is the search bar so that's what your browser does and most of the time it will be showing you HTML, JavaScript, and CSS files, which are originally in this computer 7, for example. If you did not use a browser or a browser that didn't browse, you would receive these as code and you would not be able to interact with the server much because the server has requirements and you as a client on the browser need to have those privileges and methods and know all these. So Chrome and others already know that. And they automatically initiate these um, transactions. That's why it seems so flawless and easy. What do you see on your screen on um, when you do a search? But behind the scenes, oh, there are a lot of things going on. For example, we ate engine, the whole JavaScript is there. Without it, most of the web would be in chaos. A lot of developers would freak out. Um, a lot of architecture would fail. So um, it, it hosts a lot of important technologies. And that's what your browser does. It turns ugly spaghetti things into beautiful web pages for you instantly and no it is not something easy to make it's one of the hardest things in the world to create a modern and modern browser that does not rely on another one um so